It's uh, love, jealousy, uh, death. I'm singing the role of Liu, and I'm so happy to sing this role because um, I can say Liu's love is the heart of this opera. <laughs> Cini sa come entrarti nell'anima. Turandot for me is a very special character, and the course of the opera awakens as a woman because love allows her to feel and become her authentic self. This piece, it's about ancient China and the uh, certain traditions and this complex character that is uh, Turandot herself, this ice princess. When I realized that this piece is uh, mostly about the psychology of this girl and the picture of the beginning of the 20th century and in all its forms, in its rhythmic, its motor, you kind of hear the, the, the wheels turning uh, of progress and of the development of music. You hear Stravinsky, you hear Debussy, you hear Strauss, definitely. The pinnacle of the opera for me is the chorus scenes. I mean, to be honest, everyone knows uh, Nessun Dorma and in Questa Regia, but when the entire force of the orchestra and the chorus comes together and uh, sings the entire room is just having this electricity shooting throughout everyone. If one approaches Turandot lyrically, I think it also adds to the character because it makes her more sympathetic. Because how many productions of Turndot have we all seen where Liu gets the most applause? Because she's the most sympathetic, she's the most empathetic. You feel for her, but you don't feel for Turndot. So I had to approach it in a more lyric way. <laughs> Every sound, every breath, it's something that comes through uh, your, uh, your soul and will connect with the public, even in the recording. Timur è un re tartaro spodestato, rappresenta in qualche modo la disperazione, la disperazione della sconfitta. Ma anche eh, io trovo che sia un personaggio pieno di speranza. You see Calaf coming in, storming in, uh, finding his father in the crowd of slaves and, and, uh, and realizing that uh, the person who is responsible for all that uh, is called Turandot. So um, his first instinct is, okay, I'll... I'll battle her. And then suddenly in, in this first act, his attitude changes immediately from, from anger to, uh, yeah, something like love. And in the version we are recording here, which is the long, the original Alfano version, um, we have the chance to actually see this development and, uh, and have the time to let it sink in. I'm extremely thankful that we do this long version. actually are in the Alfano ending of this opera that we are recording here in Rome with Maestro Papano. And it allows Turndot, you see the character progress more. And the music is really thrilling and it's never performed. 
We are doing this original version um, on the recording because you rarely hear it and I think it's important to give it a chance to be heard more uh, frequently. This is very important about the first Alfano version, the bipolarity, the complexity of Turandot is much more in evidence and that makes the dramaturgy much more convincing. It's a spectacle. And when you see it in the theater, richly done, it makes a huge impact. 